Phoenix Suns won game one, says you. I didn't watch. Um, wasn't exactly a blowout, but you said it was you. a good game. Um, yeah. uh, who wasn't on the mm-hmm. sidelines? That would be Rachel Nichols. She was not on the sidelines. Yeah. Um, ESPN pulled her from the NBA coverage. That happened yesterday. They said they're still committed to her on The Jump, her show, her, her NBA show. Mm-hmm. But suddenly that was pulled Daily. from the lineup yesterday. Uh, I mm-hmm. think I read where it'll be back today. But when it comes to ESPN, I just don't know. Because it seems to be like, are, are they leading? No. It seems that they are just kind of um, on their heels constantly. Really? I mean, mm. this this mm-hmm. recording, this secret recording, where she was recorded in her hotel room making these inflammatory comments, it was they had it for mm-hmm. a year, and you didn't have any better plan than this. That mm-hmm. too needs to be pulled. Because they okay, I'm I'm on board. Whatever she she's it's become too much. This thing, this whole thing, and so people want to enjoy the game. Honestly, maybe she's, well, I don't want to say that, but well, here I go. I'm going to say it. Honestly, you got these small market teams, Milwaukee, maybe, maybe she's, uh, this brings excitement and controversy, Mm. um, ugly as it is, Mm. but she's no longer part of the NBA coverage. We'll see if the jump will be back today. I don't even watch the show, but whatever. And, um, your, your reaction to that. Okay. Your reaction. No, I mean, look, here's the, it's, it's, first of all, you're absolutely right. They've had this and they've known about this for a year and done nothing, but we've seen that. And I just talked about that with the gray site. A lot of times when you put pressure and you got this public outcry, then all of a sudden companies react and ESPN reacted to the Rachel Nichols situation. They should have done the right thing a long time ago. They should have tried to, you know, nip this in the bud, apologize to Maria, probably try to kumbaya, make them make up, do anything they could to bring them closer together. They did not do that. The New York Times article is what made it all come out after it was reported in Deadspin, even though Deadspin didn't have all 20 minutes of the video. So yeah, you're right. They reacted to this whole situation. But as far as the decision is concerned, Sharon, this is something ESPN had to do. Rachel Nichols herself, what did she say at the beginning of her, her apology yesterday? She didn't want to be the story, right? She didn't want to be the distraction. Wait for that. When it comes to this, if she showed up, anytime she showed up to do a sideline hit, pregame show, what have you, guess what people were going to start talking about? Guess what was going to trend on Twitter last night? It wasn't going to be about Chris Paul. It wasn't going to be about Devin Booker. It wasn't going to be about Giannis. It was going to be about Rachel Nichols and ESPN. Obviously, they didn't want that, even mm-hmm. though people would have tuned in to be curious. But guess who else probably did not want that, Sharon? So we're not going to give ESPN all the credit because guess what? Even though no. ESPN has the rights to these games, guess who also has a right to say who they want on the telecast? The league, the NBA. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, uh, Patero, president. Yeah, um, we need you to do the right thing. Uh, we don't want this to be a distraction because we know every time that Rachel's on the sidelines giving a report, people are going to start talking more about Rachel than the actual game. These are the NBA Finals. It's the most important time of our year. We don't want that distraction. Pull her. Pull her for this. So that's what I'm they had to do. We've you. seen it happen before, I, and we'll see it happen if it happens again in the future. Go ahead. I think you're exactly right. I, I would quibble with the dialogue there because I don't even think Adam Silver, whoever his underlings are, had to say all that. I think the phone rang and they saw the caller ID over at ESPN and they knew. And I think the conversation and the dialogue went a little something like this. Hey, yeah, how's it going? How's the family? Um, just just checking in with you. Wanted to see what your plans yeah. were. Pause. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, we're talking about it right now. And, uh, you know, we wanted you guys to weigh in. I think it went something like that. But I also think there's another element to this. People are focused on what appears to be Rachel Nichols' punishment and comeuppance, however you feel about what went down. If she's on the sidelines and get your popcorn ready, you don't control the fans. We already know that. Look what they've done, okay? Mm -hmm. Look what the fans have done. Some have had to be arrested because of it. Every time Mm -hmm. there's a microphone that's hot and she's holding it on a sideline, fans say whatever they want. Mm-hmm. Can you imagine that? Do you mm-hmm. want that clip floating around? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. there's a lot that yes. went into. I just think it's it's curious that 
they had no plan. That we do know. You had no plan. Mm -hmm. So it's, mm -hmm. a, it's a shame. And yeah, of course, of course, the NBA weighed in on it. It's, it's crazy. Um, I do oh, want to yeah. say that, and are you done? Is there anything else you want to say about it? No, no, I'm, I'm good. I'm, go ahead, go ahead. I'm, no, absolutely. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. We good. Yeah.